Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Lopez and today I will be presenting uh, background information on the hidden blade. First, let's start off by talking about the director, Yamada Yoji. Yamada Yoji was born on September 13, 1931. He was born in Osaka, Japan. He grew up in Dalia, China. Uh, after World War II, he ended up moving back to Japan and lived in Yamagata. Yamada got his uh, degree in Tokyo University in 1954. Uh, soon afterwards, he got a job at Shochiku, a Japanese movie studio, and studied under Nomura Yoshitaru as a screenplay writer. Yamada wrote his first screenplay in 1958 and directed his first movie in 1961 called uh, Nikai no Tanen. Throughout the years, Yamada won Best Picture for Japan Academy Awards four times and Director of the Year three different times. Yamada is best known for his Torasan movie series. Uh, speaking of which, Torasan Forbidden Love was nominated at the 14th Moscow International Film Festival in 1984. Okay, let's take a look at all the films that Yamada has directed. As you can see, there are a lot of films here. <laughs> Yamada has directed over 70 films so far, uh, several of which have came out within the same year, as you can see. The Torasan series accounts for 48 of them, over half of all his uh, movies made. Torasan has been played by the same actor, Kyoshoi. Atsumi, up until his death in 1996. Yamada has since then stopped working on the Torasan series and moved on to other movies. However, he will be releasing a new one uh, 20 plus years later, later this year, starring a different actor. Uh, now that uh, we got all his past films out of the way, let's move on to the film of topic, The Hidden Blade. The Hidden Blade came out in 2004 and was nominated for 16 awards and won three. Of those awards, the film won Best Art Direction in Japan, Academy Awards, Best Actress in the Hochi Films, and Best Supporting Actress in the Mainichi Concourse. The Hidden Blade is set in the 1860s, near the end of the Edo period. The main plot revolves around several samurai and the four class systems they had at the time. Of the four classes, samurai were at the top, followed by artisans, farmers, and merchants. When watching The Hidden Blade, there are several Japanese concepts that appear, but the three you need to keep your eyes open for are Danjo Kanke, male and female relationships, Boshiro, the way of the warrior, and Sudan Ishiki, Japan's group consciousness. Throughout the years, Danjo Kanke has changed considerably, but for this presentation I will be focusing mainly on it during the Edo period because that's the setting of this film. During the Edo period, men had all the power in their family and made all the decisions for the family. Uh, due to the ES system, w women were responsible to take care of the house and children while men worked and made the money. They were the breadwinners of the family. 
throughout a woman's lifetime, she was expected to obey her father when she was young, obey her husband in when she was married, and obey her son when she was older. Uh, Confucianism cemented men outside and women inside mentality throughout Japan. It is important to note that Danjiro Kanki is very different today because after World War II, men and women were given equal rights. However, women in Japan are still paid less than men and are discriminated against in the workplace. But it is getting better. Bushido, the way of the warrior. Uh, there are eight virtues to Bushido. Justice, courage, compassion, respect, integrity, honor, loyalty, and self-control. Of these eight, honor and loyalty are the most important, especially relating to this film. Uh, loyalty, the determined will to die. Samurai do whatever their lords uh, say them to do, whether they like it or not. Although... Uh, loyalty was like a trade-off system, so when the samurai accomplished their thing, their duty, the lord would reward them with land and money, and if the samurai didn't think the exchange was fair, he would ask for more. Honor. Rather to die than to disgrace yourself. To the samurai, Honor was very important due to pride. Honor led to an uh, act only committed in Japan called Senpuku or Harakiri or suicide by self disembowelment. If a samurai ever did something unhonorable, they would redeem themselves with Harakiri. And the reason why they stabbed themselves in the stomach was because the stomach is where the soul rested and their blade was their most prized possession. Uh, Sudan Ishiki, Japan's group consciousness. Japan is a collective country, meaning they are group orientated. Uh, they focus mainly on what's best for the group. The Japanese identify as a group and they will do whatever it takes to keep peace and harmony within the group. Uh, being group-oriented results in keeping your inner thoughts to yourself, especially if they differ from the group's goals. Sudan Ishiki also leads to other important Japanese concepts like silence and inner and outer voice and insider and outsider. That is the end of my presentation. Uh, here is a list of my resources. I hope you guys enjoy the film.